So you built a set of clone armor, and now you want to know how to put it all together. Well, I'm going to show you how I strap mine today on Darth Rage Reviews. <laughs> Reviews, your source for the force. Nah, for the rep greetings, force fans, and welcome to another episode of Darth Rage Reviews, your source for the force, and lately for all things Commander Cody. So, y'all, I am done, completely done with my Commander Cody armor. To be honest, I've been done with my Commander Cody armor for about two weeks now, and it's been killing me not to be able to share this all with y'all. I've put it on, I've strapped it, I've taken pictures. I shared some of those pictures with my friends, so they've seen a preview of it. Let me tell you, y'all, it looks badass, if I say so myself. So before I show y'all, which is not going to be this video, I'm sorry, I apologize. Uh, I want to give you guys a glimpse into how I put it all together, how I strap it, how I fit it, how I make it to where this stuff doesn't fall off of me when I put it on, which... Without this strapping, it would fall off of me and slide all over the place. And it's a very ugly thing if you don't have it strapped right. So I'm going to show this to you kind of in pieces here at the desk. I'm not going to give you a full reveal of the armor, but I do want to give you guys an idea of kind of how it all goes together. So, um, and again, this is how I do it. This is not how everybody does it, and everybody does it different. So just know that this may not look the way that somebody else does their strapping. Uh, I do things, I'm a little bit strange. If y'all haven't figured that out, I'm a little bit strange. So this is my neck seal. Uh, I got this from Dark Side Closet, I think. I think it was Dark Side Closet. Uh, and I've attached two straps, with a little bit of elastic, or two clips with a little bit of elastic onto the end of these shoulders. And that's what I clip my shoulder bells into. And the shoulder bell is attached to the bicep. Um, through a little piece of strap. So with that up there, I've got a corresponding clip that you can see in there. And then the bicep is actually strapped to the shoulder belt. In here, this is actually just a knee pad I got from Home Depot. Already came with straps on it and it fits really nice in there. So I've got that in there as well, just to kind of help secure that down. So that slides over the arm. like so and then it clips in under here like that and then you've got your shoulder and your bicep ready to go elbow that just slides on with a little piece of velcro that I've attached there you've got the the fake uh, actual armor strap there and then a piece of velcro underneath there and it'll just literally slide up and sit in place just like that um, I don't have the glove armor here it's just a piece of velcro that sits and attaches it to the glove the gloves are slightly longer um, for my forearm pieces uh, I've taken a little bit of uh, like upholstery foam uh, this is you know for like a couch uh, so I've taken this foam and cut off a couple pieces and put it inside there, you can see, and that just basically helps to hold this in place when you get it there so it doesn't, there's no slipping around or sliding. But that is your arm in a nutshell. Both arms are done just like that. So this is attached, this just sits there, this is uh, a little bit of elastic. So arms out of the way, piece of cake. We'll do that for both of them. Legs are similar in that the thighs are connected. Ooh. Sorry about that. So the legs are very similar in that the thighs are connected to uh, the waist. So I have a belt. belt like so that has clips on it that I created and those clip in to a corresponding clip on the thigh so I'll just have that belt pull these up and that's what holds the thighs in place so both those around the belt the knees are exactly the same as the elbows so that's just a piece of elastic in there uh, 
and it holds it in place where it's supposed to go. You see, I've got padding on the front there. That's so it pops it out a little bit and it'll sit, um, and it'll sit, you know, over top, sorry, over top of the thigh. Um, cause otherwise it'll, a lot of times it'll slide underneath there and you're always kind of having to adjust it. So this keeps it like that, keeps it like what it's supposed to look like. Um, and then the shins literally just slide on and sit on top of the boot. So no strapping, no kind of anything for that. Uh, the last piece is going to be the ab, uh, well, I'll call it the clone diaper. It's the ab, butt cod. Um, as well as the chest and back. So um, the chest and back literally just slides on top of this and sits. Um, the shoulder straps are what kind of hold it in place. And it just sits over top of the abs, uh, slides on. The abs themselves, one of the first pieces that I put in, and those are held up by suspenders that I created again. I, I bought bulk strapping and I've literally just glued that in there on there. So size it and strap it. These, the back or the butt and the uh, cod are Velcroed in. So you can see I've got Velcro around there and I'll start with the butt in there, get all the legs on and then attach the cod because once I attach the cod, I can't really bend over anymore. So I can't get down to my legs. Um, I can put all this armor on by myself too, which is quite impressive. If you've ever tried to put on armor, you would know. Uh, so th this will just Velcro in the front here and then you'll snap the sides in place. And that's how that is. You've got your butt and your cod, and then the chest back just slides over top of that. Y'all, that's it. There is nothing, nothing really fancy about how you put this all together. Um, this works for me. I've not really ever had problems uh, trooping with stuff, you know, falling apart. I've had some small shin spoon problems, but. That's understandable. Uh, but that's what it takes to strap one of these, put one of these together, and make it look pretty. So where do we go from here? Well, y'all, it is time for me to show y'all the culmination of what I've done here. It's about a year's worth of work because I was lazy and took my time. Um, but yeah, the next video will be the Cody Armor Full Armor Reveal. Not exactly sure how I'm going to do it yet. Maybe a live. I don't know. Maybe just a video video. I don't know. But know there will be lots of shorts and lots of other stuff coming up highlighting this armor. So uh, let me know, guys. What are y'all most excited to see about this build? Tell me in the comments. Uh, are you, Do you think I nailed it? Did, did I do a good job? You know, what, what's your favorite part about this Cody armor? So let me know in the comments. If you haven't subscribed, guys, hit that subscription bell, the notification thing, so you know when I'm posting videos because you want to see this armor when it is complete. So hit all that stuff that's down there in the corner. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give me a like. I would appreciate it. Give me a share. I'd appreciate that as well. Do whatever you want to do with it. This, this video is now yours. So as always, y'all, I'm Darth Rage. This is Darth Rage Reviews, your source for the force. The circle is now complete. When I left you, I was but the learner. Now I am the master.